So I assume because you clicked on this video, you're trying to figure out exactly how long your jeans should be. Should they have some break? Should there be no break? Wait, what does break even mean? In today's video, we're gonna go over exactly how long your jeans should be and how to find the perfect fit for your body even if you are, let's say, a shorter guy who has a hard time shopping for pants. Stick around to the very end of this video where I'm gonna give you three different ways to achieve what I think is the perfect length for your jeans. Let's get into it. What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gents. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Baron, and on this channel, we typically discuss men's style tips, how to dress sharp, and how to dress with confidence. If you are into that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out our other videos as well. So today we're talking all about jeans length. How long should your jeans be? First off, let me explain a little bit about what break is. Break is referring to how your pants sit on top of your shoes. So a full break essentially is when one full fold of material sits on top of your shoe. This supposedly is the most like traditional way to wear your pants. But to be honest, I think it looks a little bit dated and kind of sloppy. It basically looks like you never tailored your pants at all or you bought the wrong length. From there, you have your half break, which is when the hem of your pants is sitting on top of your shoes and there is a slight fold at the front of the trouser. This is a bit cleaner and more appropriate for a conservative style without looking sloppy. Finally, you have a no break look, which means that the hem of your pants are sitting perfectly on top of your shoes with no fold whatsoever in the trouser leg. The cuff is essentially floating right on top of your shoe. What's considered acceptable and seen as in style definitely changes over the decades, but as of right now, I do believe that the most modern way to wear your pants is with no break. Long story short, for your jeans, you want a no break look, especially if you're going for a smart, sharp style. Here's the thing, getting jeans in the right length can be hard. If you're like 5'10 or 5'11, you probably don't have uh, that much of a struggle finding the right uh, inseam length for you. But even for me, I am 5'9, and although a 30 inch inseam, which is usually the minimum that you would find in stores, it works for me, I still have to often cuff my jeans twice or even three times sometimes to get the no break look. Which is why I think the guys at Peter Manning are really crushing it with their denim selection right now. If you haven't heard of Peter Manning before and you're under like like 5'9 or 5'10, you're gonna wanna pay attention. Basically, Peter Manning designs clothes for the not so tall guy. Essentially, it's like Polo Ralph Lauren or Brooks Brothers, but for a man of a more modest stature. While Peter Manning can outfit your whole wardrobe, what I really like about them is their denim selection. So they have three different fits, traditional, slim, and skinny. And within those three fits, there are at least four, if not five different washes from a very light wash all the way to a dark raw rinse. And best of all, they carry inseams from 25 inches all the way to 30. So if you have ever had a hard time finding a pair of jeans that is shorter than a 30 inch inseam, Peter Manning's for you. So these jeans that I'm wearing are actually a inseam size of 28 inches, which is perfect for me. For reference, I am five foot nine, but I need a 28 inch inseam in order to not have to cuff my jeans. If for whatever reason I did want a slightly shorter hem, I still could cuff these uh, pair of Peter Manning denim, but the nice thing is I don't have to. So if I want a more sleek and clean look, I could leave them uh, uncuffed and it's perfect. Shout out to the guys at Peter Manning. Thank you so much for partnering with me on this video. I've been working with them for years and I do love their product. It's super solid. They serve a market that is generally very underserved. Guys that are under 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", it's hard to find clothes that fit proportionally well for guys that are you know, of a shorter, more modest stature and I think they're doing a great job with their clothing and I love the style and aesthetic. Uh, it just fits our smart, sharp style, the, the, the type of style that I talk about so well. So shout out to the guys at Peter Manning. Thank you to you guys who are watching this video for supporting the brands that support us and make this channel possible. Like I said, all the links are gonna be in the description box below. So if you are looking for the perfect pair of denim for you, make sure you go ahead and click on the link below. So back to the subject of trying to get a pair of jeans with no break. Obviously there are a few other ways to get the no break look. You could one, roll your cuff uh, a few times, but if you are a shorter dude, then it's gonna be a little bit tougher because you're gonna have to roll your cuff like three or four times. And then that creates a really thick roll that doesn't look that great. In that case, I suggest you check out Peter Man denim like I already mentioned, link in the description below. Or alternative number two would be to get your jeans hemmed. This option is okay and I think 
If you have to do it, then you have to do it. But what I don't like about it is that you lose the original hem on your jeans. There is a method that tailors use to keep your original hem if you request it. Some know how to do it and some don't. Essentially what they do is they may cut the jeans off and remove some of that excess length and then re-sew the hem the original hem back onto your jeans. This does work, but I believe there are a few problems with that. One, you always have to keep your cuff pressed. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't look natural. There's kind of a little bit of uh, rippling or puckering and it doesn't lay super flat. If your tailor doesn't do that great of a job, then it'll be kind of obvious that your cuff was um, taken off and then sewn back on. Secondly, you're not gonna be able to cuff your jeans once if you like wearing your jeans that way, which I wear my denim that way all the time. So I wouldn't be able to cuff it up once because then you're gonna see the uh, hem. I would have to cuff it at least twice. Now that may only be a problem to some and not all. So if that's you and you don't really mind too much, that you won't be able to cuff your jeans, then maybe get uh, taking it to a tailor and having them keep the original hem while shortening your jeans is a good option for you. Just remember to always keep your cuffs pressed. Otherwise, it looks a little bit unnatural and you can tell that your jeans have been held. All right, fellas, so there you have it. We talked about the three different types of break, which is full break, uh, half break and no break at all. And then we also discussed three different ways to get you the perfect length of jeans. One, I suggest obviously that you check out Peter Manning's denim, especially if you are a guy who needs denim that is uh, shorter than a 30 inch inseam, which is the typical length that you find in stores. Second alternative would be to just cuff your jeans or roll them up. Again, if you are a little bit shorter, then you're gonna have a hard time with this because even at a 30 inch inseam, if you have to roll it up three or four times, the roll gets too thick and it doesn't look as cool. Your third alternative would be to take it to a tailor and get your jeans hemmed either with a completely new cuff or if you can, have them keep the original hem so it looks a little bit closer to natural. All right, I hope this helps. In the comments below, please let me know what break you prefer wearing your denim with and also how are you going to achieve the perfect length of denim for you? I wanna know, so let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. I hope y'all got a lot out of this one and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.